John, nine days ago commented, have you still not flown it with motor yet? It's just like, don't biff it, because if you biff this shit down, you're gonna die. You, yeah, you're gonna be extremely broken. <laughs> When it comes to paraglider design, not much in the way of fundamentals has changed in the past 20 years. We've gotten slicker, smoother, more efficient, faster, safer, and easier to use, sure, but it's still just an inflatable airfoil over your head that uses brakes that deflect the trailing edge to control it. That is until this May when a company called Flare Global dropped the mustache. This might be a fucking revolution. Look at that. Flair asked the question almost 10 years ago, what would happen if we came up with an entirely different way to control a paraglider? And what they ended up creating was the Flair system. At first glance, this setup looks exactly the same to a normal paraglider, but as soon as you inflate it, you'll realize that when you pull the brake toggles down, you're not actually pulling the trailing edge of the wing down like every other glider. You're actually changing the entire profile of the glider, increasing the angle of attack as you pull down. The result is a wing that gives you over 25 miles an hour of speed range at your fingertips. This gives the pilot an unparalleled amount of new control and the ability to create new, unique, and interesting lines because you have complete control over the lift the glider produces and your airspeed. This has proven to be revolutionary in the mini wing and speed flying community. But as primarily a motor pilot, I was curious how it would work under a paramotor. And thanks to the lovely people at Superfly Paragliding in Draper, Utah, we were able to secure the 15 and 18 meter demo gliders to take out to salt air and test with the motors. Here's what we're thinking. We can't decide who the heck is gonna jump, not jump, who the heck is gonna fly the flare mustache first. What we're gonna do is we're gonna play a game of rock, paper, scissors. It's an age old game to decide who's gonna do something. One round or two out of three? Two out of three. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Scissors, shoot. Shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Damn it. So you fly the 18. <laughs> I wanna fly the 18 first. So as I set this glider up, I just want to let everyone know that the mustache has not been designed for and in no way intended to be flown on a motor. And honestly, before I took off, I had no way of knowing how this glider was going to fly. Structurally, I knew it could support the weight, but other than that, it's anyone's guess. Because of that, I was admittedly a little bit nervous, but because I now have a good bit of time on it in free flight, I had a decent idea that it would perform pretty well. And I guess I'll kite it up. GoPro's recording. I guess I'll just hold this down here. Okay. is to hold it fast, but really we want to hold it down here. There's like slow point. Well, launch look flawless. No problems. It looks like it's working perfectly th thus far. It feels so weird to pull brakes down this much on the motor. It feels a lot more intuitive in a free flight. All right, I'm gonna try some like off power wing over. Okay, this is kind of sweet. It's gonna take a second to get used to, 
there, you can see the flare system moving like that. It doesn't have the same effect of just like sending you up into the air like it does in free flight, but it's still pretty good. The brake pressure is a lot harder, I'll say that. The swoops are fat. Foot drag capabilities. Let's do a touch and go. Okay. Hands are down. It's actually really good. I have to get used to it. It's like a whole new skill set because you're just holding the brakes down low. Like this is kind of neutral and then up is speed. But it's working. I'm gonna go fly next to somebody. Oh man, oh this is so good. I have like all of the power in the world to catch up. good like it's really weird but it's also good I don't know man this could be the future I mean it's cruising right now this is like slow flight 6,000 rpms so it's not efficient <laughs> you just have the power of energy what the heck? And going and going and going and going. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this is the this is the future. Um dude. I must ask you a question. <laughs> I've been waiting this whole time to see that. So it's weird. How? The brakes are hard. Mm -hmm. It's not that super, it's like Rrr. Weird. And your default hand, like your brain is just like hands up. And really you gotta be sitting there holding like a decent bit of pressure. Mm -hmm. Cause the bottom's here. But, dude. It seems like it rips pretty good. How did the wing overs look? Pretty fat. It just feels weird to like pull so much. Were you able to keep your finger on the T and do the throttle at the same time? Yeah, I landed, I was running this. Nice. I took off with my hands like on here and that worked. It's pretty good. <laughs> How'd I'm it look, Trevor? It looked like really good, dude. <laughs> it, it works. I was abs I was really impressed with how much energy would carry the wing over. It's just like a wing you could set the cruise control at full throttle and just fly. It's kind of stupid. <laughs> my turn. Tucker's turn. Tucker, how do you feel about your experience there? I feel like I'm about to shell out three grand for a 15 if the thing is anything like I expect it to be. 18 was a lot though. I know, but the point of this thing is like an F1 car. Shit, you rip around and almost die. You're like out of breath from flying. I know, and my hand still hurts. It's like, I just took my helmet off and I'm like, whew. Just unclipped from a rocket ship. Walk, pipe, a scissors, shoot. Oh. <laughs> It's down to one again. Shoot, shoot. Oh yes, I get the 15. Yeah, do it, dude. That is if Judson survives the mustache 15. No, we're gonna, <laughs> happy thoughts. Yeah, oh dude, yeah, you, manifestation. You, like, I can't, words. Go watch this on Tucker's channel. Fuck. That's like my impression. Dude, my shirt was like blowing up because I was going so damn fast, my eyes were watering and shit. Oh. <laughs> it's just like, don't biff it, because if you biff this shit down, no, you're wind, gonna die. You, yeah, you're gonna be extremely broken. <laughs> Cue Top Gun music. All right, 15 meter flare mustache. This seems like it's gonna be the most insane thing I've ever flown, dethroning the absolutely remarkable Freeride 14. Uh, let's give it a go. Oh boy. My helmet is blowing. 
coming off. This thing feels intuitive. The brake range is better. It feels like flying a fast motor wing. The roll rate's a lot better. You just like ream out your engine and hold it at full throttle. All right, let's try this swoop landing. Oh my god. Whoa! Holy f <laughs> Holy sh His hands up. And going, and going, and going, and going, and going. Oh my wow. much. This is hands down the most absurd thing I think I've ever tried in my life. Climb rate's good. My poor engine, I'm just like running it to the max. Oh man, this thing is stupid. Sauce. Oh, that's it. That's money. Dude, holy f This is next level absurdity. Like, this is so stupid. It's really hard to put into words how different and dynamic this flying experience is. I'm gonna just kind of let the wing speak for itself, but the ability to accelerate a glider to full speed with your hands and then slow it all the way down to stall this is the future. makes the experience of flying a paramotor remarkably different. By having control of your speed, it really opens up a whole new world of possibilities when it comes to energy management. You can be foot dragging at full throttle, staying on the ground, and trade all of that airspeed for a ridiculous amount of altitude. It's kind of like flying an airplane, which is something I really haven't experienced before on a paramotor.
Oh my god. Um. Um. <laughs> uh, He's speechless. I don't know what to say. Like, the 18 was good, but this is like terrifyingly good. Dude, and the crazy thing is, you could get away with the 13 out here, too. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Maybe they said don't fly it on the motor because it's so good that this is a greater threat to national health and welfare than methamphetamine. But <laughs> the barrel rolls, it's just like, whoa, whoa. dude, those flares are just miles. Yeah. It's so fast. And then it just like moons. I feel like I need a chiropractor to just like stomp on my back and like crack it. Team review. That was the most insane thing I've ever flown hands down. Like it's so powerful. Tucker probably summed it up better. I don't even know, like it's ridiculous. Like it sounds stupid where when people are like revolutionary, but it's it really so is. It's, there's something crazy about it. And I feel like we're literally in, on the forefront of yeah, life. It's like historical in some I don't, way. I, I, and I feel like people are gonna be like, oh, the freaking company's paying you. They wouldn't even open my damn thing. I tagged them on Instagram. It's ridiculous. It just makes everything so easy. It's not something you can fly every day because the moment you go hands up, you're going full <laughs> speed and full throttle and you're burning gas at like probably 10 liters an hour, just like bringing it out. Yeah, I burned 10 liters of gas on that almost. <laughs> Bye, scout. So some more professional concluding thoughts on the flare mustache. Honestly, I can see this technology taking over in slalom racing and just in general, if there was some kind of adaptation that didn't mean that you were full speed all of the time, maybe some sort of trimmer to hold the brakes at a certain position. But the biggest drawback of this right now is just that if you let go, you're going full speed. Otherwise, the ability to control your speed and the amount of authority you have in terms of elevation control is simply unmatched by anything else I've flown. So yeah, I think the conditions we got for the night we flew it were absolutely perfect to motor the mustache. It's really, really fun to do touch and goes with this wing, but I wouldn't choose it almost every other night for flying. Thank you again to Superfly Paragliding and Draper Utah for trusting us with your demo gliders, and thank you to Team Fly Halo for supporting me and allowing me to bring these videos to you.